Hi, today is Friday, June 28th, 2024. I want to start today with Relatal because I have been missing it. And actually, let's let's favor it. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> what are we doing? We're going from X Ambassadors to Dead Mouse. So this is a, a, a problem because I don't know either of these bands. Well, I know Dead Mouse, but I don't know really anything about them. Let's uh let's start with like neon trees. Maybe we can go with uh 303. <laughs> I have no idea where to go from here. <laughs> let's try the Veronicas. Mm. Let's try no. <laughs> I have no idea. All of this seems bad. Oh no. What have I done? Alright, Adam Lambert. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, come back, come back to 303. Maybe Gym Class Heroes? I mean, maybe LMFAO? Okay, if we go Black Eyed Peas, maybe we can go to Will I Am, which might be helpful. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I mean, Far East Movement looks like electronic to me. I don't know anything about them. Okay, what about Mike Posner? These are like the same people. <laughs> um, Jace John? Maybe Timberland. Mm. Okay, how about uh, Ja Rule? And then we'll go to Fat Joe. Maybe we'll go to Lloyd Banks. And then um, we'll, we'll go D12. Mm, maybe Eminem? I'm thinking Post Malone. And then we'll go uh, Kendrick Lamar. And then maybe Frank Ocean? Let's try uh, Brockhampton. Maybe Kids See Ghost. And then we got Jaden. And then maybe Willow. And then the Internet? Thundercat. That sort of sounds like Dead Mouse. <laughs> okay, maybe Tame Impala could take us to Radiohead, which takes us to York. And then we go Fiona Apple. All right, let's go Regina Spector. Then the Yeah, Yeah, Yes. And then LCD Sound System. Maybe Metronomy. Parcells. I don't recognize any of these. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go with La Imperatrice. Okay, not a lot of options here. Polo and Pan. Oh no. <laughs> no where am I? Alright, let's go to LP. Then maybe Florence and the Machine. Then we go to Lord. Then Heim. Then Churches. Vampire Weekend. I mean, maybe Modest Mouse takes us to Dead Mouse. Alright, we'll go Portugal the Man. Glass Animals. Hippocampus. Peach Pit. Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Mm, no, 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 no. Back to Peach Pit. <laughs> to Coin. Fits and the Tantrums. Owl Nation. Neon Trees. Fun. Flo Rida. We're back here, huh? Jason Derulo. Sean Paul. LMFAO. Uh, Gym Class Heroes. All American Rejects. Good Charlotte. Jimmy E. World. Weezer. Soundgarden. Collective Soul. Smash Mouth. Counting Crows, The Goo Goo Dolls, Snow Patrol, The Killers, Stereophonics. Let's go back to Snow Patrol. Maybe we actually go back to The Killers. <laughs> How about The Kooks, Phoenix, Block Party, Arcade Fire, LCD Sound System, MIA, Like Lee, Grimes, Beach House, Back to Tame Impala, <laughs> mm, The Strokes, Blur. Liam Gallagher, Oasis, <laughs> Kasabian, The Prodigy, D. Antward, All J, Two Door Cinema Club, Passion Pit, Group Love, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. I really thought that was it. <laughs> Beirut, Arcade Fire, Interpol, Foles, The Wombats, Nothing But Thieves, Catfish and the Bottleman, The 1975, Paramore. My Chemical Romance, Sleeping with Sirens, Asking Alexandria, Hollywood Undead, Skillet, Three Doors Down, Nickelback, Puddle of Mud, Theory of a Dead Man, Trapped, Hoobastank, Seether, Hinder, Kid Rock, Leonard Skinder, Leonard, ZZ Top, Van Halen, Rush, Yes, Super Tramp, Electric Light Orchestra, Genesis, Toto, Heart, Stevie Nicks, 
Blue Cars, Boston, Foreigner, REO Speedwagon, Meatloaf, Neil Diamond, Bee Gees, ABBA, Billy Joel, Foreigner, Journey, Pat Benatar, Pretenders, Billy Idol, Aha, Depeche Mode, The Cure, Slow Dive, Car Seat Headrest, Modern Baseball, The Front Bottoms, Bo Burnham, Corpse, Youngblood, Ash Nico, I Speak, Crystal Castles, Apex Twin, York, Cocktail Twins, Grimes, Charlie XCX, Caroline Polacek, Chappelle Roan, Renee Rapp, Phoebe Bridgers, Claro, Boy Pablo, Wallows, Hippocampus, Backseat Lovers, Chijo, Current Joys. Alright, we're taking a break from Relatal and go on to Linksicon because it is almost time to expire. We have two minutes. <laughs> okay. Disagree to a go. Alright, well, well well instead of disagreeing, that's not great. Let's let's disagree. Let's let's agree. Yep, thank you. We'll come to a common point. Commonality. We'll communicate. We'll come to an agreement. We'll have a contract. <laughs> we'll speak verbally. We'll talk about it. We'll speak. Sure. We'll speak in the past. We'll speak in time. We'll uh, shake on it. A little handshake. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, all right. We will argue about it. We'll have an argument. We'll have a disagreement or an argument. Mm. Mm hmm. We'll talk about our history. <laughs> we'll talk about our ancestors. We'll talk about our family. We'll talk about our brother. We'll talk to each other with love. And care. And honesty. And that's, that's how it's done. It's done with love and care and honesty. Okay. <laughs> what, what was our path? That's that's all I want to know. Alright, we went from disagree to get disagreement. From disagreement to argue. From argue to talk. Sure. From talk to honesty. Yeah. From honesty to love. From love to family. From family to ancestors. From ancestors to history. From history to a go. That's that's pretty real. Alright. That was that was a good one. <laughs> Let's do our connections. Okay, create groups of four. Okay, so there's like messenger, and then maybe like a clutch purse or bag, and then like a toad bag. These are like types of bags. Maybe a satchel, sure. Yay, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking, like, possibly, like, not summaries, but, like, messages of sorts, prompt, short, word, and brief. Not even close. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, what about command prompt? Mm. <laughs> command signal? Maybe... Command brief. These I feel like I'm stretching. I don't know about that. Right, these are things you um wear. You wear slacks, you wear boxers, briefs, and shorts. Things worn around the waist. Okay, gosh, okay. 
Oh, drawers. You wear drawers. These are underpants. <laughs> Underwear in the singular. Okay. Okay, what about prompt, cue, signal, maybe word? These are things you should watch for if you're on the news or acting. Or things you give if you're a director. <laughs> Indication to proceed. There you go. Um, I don't know. Uh, Slackware? Licenseware? Lazituteware? <laughs> Freedom wear. Wiggle room. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't really see that in latitude and license, but I don't I don't know every meaning of every word. So Alright, what should we do next? Should we try a movie one? Maybe let's try faces again. Oh. I think I know who you are, but I don't think I know your name. <laughs> so this one could just be a skipper. So you're very old. Oh, you're in the Winter Soldier. I'll do a little skip. <laughs> your R. Or we'll type in an R. I can do that. Your male. Start with an R. I mean... Robert De Niro? RR. I can I can try RR. <laughs> mm, maybe not. Alright, let me know if you see RR. Okay, I don't know. Let's uh, let's go with person number two. Alright, female. This is the one I think I know. We'll skip. Alright, you're not as old. Good. Sure. I, I haven't seen any of those movies. Um, you start with an N. Let's see if we see anything. You're Nicole Kidman. No. Wait, 1967? I guess you could be Nicole Kidman. I don't really know when she was born. Let's just go with that. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. And I don't know who you are. We'll, we'll, we don't have any more skips. We'll go with Robert. I I don't know what Robert Redford looks like. Okay. I guess we won. Good job. <laughs> All right. I, I wish I was better at that game. Let's try the Wikipedia game. We haven't played that in a bit. All right. They are moving to the Wiki game daily soon. Um, so just, just so you know. All right. We're going from hedgehog to shaving. <laughs> All right, don't try to shave a hedgehog. I'm not speaking from experience, but you know, you'll know you have to take my word from it. Shaving. So we need to get like to hair, which I mean, this, surely there's something like keratin we can go to. Let's see what we got here. This is a little bit scary. <laughs> oh, sorry. And we got hair. If, this feels like a very fast path. <laughs> Hair removal? That seems like shaving, yeah. Oh, oh, don't look at that. Um, Are we... I feel like we should see it already. Gender roles, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. Gillette? Razors? It should be on here somewhere. Shave. Tell me if you see it. Tell me if you see it. I know you're on here somewhere. Alright, what is going on here? Oh, did that say something? No. Alright, let's just go to the razor. Because <laughs> for some reason, I couldn't find them. Oh, shaving. All right, 132. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Okay, so from hedgehog to keratin, to hair, to hair removal, Gillette, safety razor, shaving. That's a pretty, pretty good path. I'll definitely take that. All right, let's go to disorderly. 
All right, sort these pieces of memorabilia by the most expensive price they sold for at auction, adjusted for inflation, starting with the highest. Uh, the floating door prop from Titanic. The mechatronic model used in E.T. Michael Jordan's 1998 NBA Finals Game 1 jersey. Wow. Um, so Ringo Starr's drum, uh, drum kit. I don't know. To me, uh, this is probably pretty high. And then... I don't really know where everything else is. I'm guessing Michael Jackson's jacket's probably the highest. And then we'll probably go with this. The music stuff's pretty high. Sports stuff's probably pretty high. And then everything else. I like that. Okay, we'll swap these two. And then... I mean, I guess we'll, we'll just put you up here. Really? Well, we can't quite do what I wanted to do. But I guess we could do this. <laughs> okay, well, this is a failure. Then we do that. That's completely unexpected. <laughs> okay, besides the top. Alright. Um, so this is a pretty big disparity. But the middle, these these three, and then that one, not really, but are pretty close to each other. Most people got 4.2. Yeah, I mean, that was a tough one, for sure. Alright, let's try Daily Dozen. Alright, NFL... After seven seasons in Arizona, and Quan Bolden had three straight 800 plus receiving yards seasons for this AFC team. Oh gosh, AFC team. I'm hoping the Detroit Tigers are AFC. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Despite totaling 40 stolen bases and leading the NL in home runs, runs, RBIs, um, yep, this Dodger center fielder finished right around up to. Ryan Braun in 2011 MVP voting. This is Matt Kemp. There you go. Alright, Spain won back-to-back -back Euro Championships by defeating Germany in 2008 and this country in the 2012 final. I'll just say Italy. <laughs> okay. A very, very nice guess. The Outlander is a compact crossover US... <laughs> SUV model produced by what automobile brand? Outlander. Is that um is that a Jeep? No. So <laughs> name the two uh, celebrities matched up in this photo. Well, I mean, I know who you are. We're not going to know this. Um I don't know your names. Uh Tom um, mm, one second. I mean, we're not going to get the other one. I don't know if you're a Tom or a slightly different name. Uh, the face, I'm just, I know who you are, but I don't know if I've, I just, I just don't know your name. Interview, sure. All right, launched in 1998, this brand of Frosted Corn Flakes was named after a former Heisman winner and Bill's quarterback. 1998. I mean, Frosted Corn Flakes, that's Frosted Flakes. Um, I don't know of any Frosted Corn Flakes other than Frosted Flakes. So we'll just go with... Um, Harry... <laughs> Flakes? Um, doesn't look like it's any of those. I don't know what Flutie, Flutie Flakes... What are those? Alright, these are uh, golden cramps. <laughs> the Shiva Bowl was the fantasy football championship game in this cult favorite sitcom that debuted in on a FX in 2009. I don't, I don't think I know this. I don't think it's this always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I don't have a good guess. Originally gaining recognition as an actress, this woman has directed multiple Oscar-nominated films, including Lady Bird. Little Woman and Barbie. I don't know. Originally gaining recognition as an actress. I don't I don't really know. Margot Robbie. I think you're in Barbie? <laughs> um Lady Bird. I I just I just don't know. When your legs don't work like they used to before and I can't sweep you off 
of your feet. Um, I'm talking about... Yeah. Oh my gosh. I haven't heard that song in so long. What was that song called? I, I don't think I've heard that song in, in nine years, probably. Um, anyone? I'm thinking about... Thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about... <laughs> thinking out loud. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> All I could remember was, I'm thinking about... All right. All right, we got three. I'll take it. Let's look at the right answers. So you're Tilda Swinton, yes. And Gary Oldman. I recognize both of y'all. I just couldn't remember your names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> NFL, Baltimore Ravens, you're in the AFC. I, I wrote it down. Not really. Mitsubishi. Cereal is... Oh, <laughs> I probably should have just guessed Flutie Flakes. But I don't know who Flutie is. Is there a person... A uh, quarterback that was named Flutie. Greta Gerwig. Okay, I could have gotten that probably if I took another 30 minutes. This is the league. I don't know about the league. Cool. Oh, yeah. Let's try it thrice. All right, first category is science and nature. In photography, what single syllable word describes a non-zoom lens with a fixed focal length? I don't, I don't know much about this. We'll call that a... Try. All right. In banking, what do you call the real generous interest rate offered to you folks, to folks with good credit? Um, I am embarrassed, but I'm, I'm guessing it, it's something that makes the number go up. All right. The numbers. Oh, it's, is it prime? It's prime. The numbers 311 and 79 can only be divided by themselves in one. Which makes them prime, I suppose. I, uh... I, why didn't you give me that the first time? The first question. I don't know this other stuff. Alright, we did it. <laughs> Alright, we're in food and drink. If you're an astrologist, you study what edible crustaceans that Australians call yabbies. Edible crustacean. I'm guessing they're not called crabs. Or, I mean, I guess they're not crabs. Maybe they're light crabs. Maybe they're crawfish. Oh! I'm a genius. <laughs> it was also, um... The Cajun stew etouffee is often made by simmering what mud bugs in a light sauce? <laughs> Crawfish. The other two would not help me. <laughs> All right. Uh, entertainment. Freakin' at the Freakers Ball was a 1972 album uh, by what multi-talented guy? Multi-talented, eh? We'll see about that. Is it multi-talented because they like they're an actor too or actress or they're Maybe they were a, a, an athlete, or they could juggle. Maybe they're a juggler or a clown. Who knows? It sounds like a Gerald to me. You know, Geralds are typically pretty talented, in my experience. Just think of the Gerald from Hey Arnold. All right. Known as a pop poet, what author also famously wrote A Boy Named Sue for Johnny Cash? I have heard of A Boy Named Sue, but I don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this is uh, Frank Sinatra. Okay. Um, when he wasn't drawing cartoons for Playboy, who wrote kid-lit classics like The Giving Tree and Where the Sidewalk Ends? Is this a uh, Shell Silver something? Silverstein? Something like that. That that took a while to get it off my brain. <laughs> a very like it was it was moving like a snail. But I it got I got there. Alright, this is in social sciences. After three days of fighting, the Confederates began retreating from Gettysburg on what holiday? It's like, I don't know, Memorial's Day or something? <laughs> if it's a holiday. Veterans Day, who knows? Labor's Day, <laughs> what what? 
Or maybe they did it. Maybe it's not based on this. Maybe it's not because of this. <laughs> maybe it's just like it just happened to be on Christmas. Oh, they really, they were so fast in telling me that was wrong. <laughs> Aptly enough, Adams Sr., Jefferson, and Monroe all died on what calendar date? Oh, it actually is. I was going to say 4th of July, but I think it really is 4th of July. 4th of July. Okay, I could have gotten three points if I had not gone with Christmas. In Jainism, what word refers to a floating substance that attaches to the soul in certain situations? What category is this? Arts and literature? No, oh, this is... Oh, the, I think I just read that. Social sciences. I'm thinking this is like... Or it could be something else in like Buddhism. I don't, I don't know for sure what this is. I'll just... I, I, I don't have a good guess. I'll just say yin. It's a bad guess. I'm sorry. In Bo oh my gosh. <laughs> I told you. I, this is what I was trying to think of. Um, in Buddhism, what word refers to the metaphysical phenomenon that ties your thoughts and actions to the cycle of rebirth? Gosh, it's just completely blocked in my brain. Uh, let's let's go with let's go with karma. Oh, what's karma? Okay, cool. <laughs> I feel like we got some points that time. Did we beat the average for the first time ever? That's the question. That's always the question. Until it happens. Until it happens. All right, let's first see what the answers or how what everyone did. And then we'll we'll figure it out. Okay, so far so good. We're we're in like the, the most common ca category. We're in we okay, we're above average most likely at this point. Crawfish, good job. Shelf, Shelf Silverstein. All right, still, still above average. Fourth of July. You know, I should have just said that instead of Christmas. And then Karma. I mean, it's looking good to me. Did we? Oh. Okay, okay. Don't, don't just, just calm down. You didn't just beat the average. You beat the average by more than, more than one. Look at that. That's incredible. Okay, I, I may be the greatest thrice player that has ever lived. I might just have to become a thrice streamer and a thrice YouTuber, YouTuber, YouTuber from now on. I hope that's okay to all my, my, my viewers. Just uh, comment below and, and let me know and I'll, uh, I'll consider it, okay? All right, let's do GeoGrid. We love Geogrid here. All right, so we need a flag with a star that borders Brazil. Um, okay. I sh that should be easy. I know Bolivia has a star. I don't... I, I guess Argentina has a sun, right? Doesn't have, like, a face... A sun with a face? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But it's also Argentina. And so it's, it's also Bolivia. Also Colombia and Venezuela and Guyana. There are a lot of options with this second one here. <laughs> and then uh, fewer than 10 Olympic medals. I would say like Suriname in that one. That seems, seems like a good guess. And then uh, in North America, fewer than 10 Olympic medals. Sorry, I'm going kind of randomly. I'm going to have to say Belize. Actually, that's probably a bad guess. We'll go with an island. Maybe like um, Saint... Oh, sorry. Uh, Lucia. There. I like their flag, too. And then, capital city, population over 5 million. Okay, so like a pretty big capital city, but not a lot of Olympic medals. Well, maybe someone that's not really in the Olympics? North Korea? Maybe they have over 5 million people. No, okay. <laughs> I, I thought it was a fun guess, at least. Uh, I, I don't know if I should say fun in the same sense as... Or in the same thought as North Korea, but, you know. Uh, let's just go with Guyana in this one. Maybe It might be what most people come, come up with. Or is, is there a French Guyana? Or is this Guyana? Sure. Okay. You know, I should have thought of that. We could, there's, pro, there's one lower than this, definitely. All right, flag with a star, Boris, Brazil. I'm just going to go with Bolivia. 
All right. It, does it have a star? Oh, it does have the sun in there. You know, I imagined just a star like this <laughs> when I envisioned uh, the star in my, my brain. All right, North America. We know Dominica is a great guess with this one. Nice. And then ends in the letter A. Go Canada. Mexico. United States of America. Maybe let's go with Guatemala. Or, I mean, we could go with an island, but that's, that's just like, I don't know, that's typical, right? That's what they, they would, they would think I would do. All right. Capital city over 5 million with a star. Well, it's China. <laughs> I would think so. Um, also Japan. Also the United States. You know, I never say the United States. Everyone thinks no, no one's going to guess, or everyone's going to guess the United States. So they don't guess the United States because of that. Epic. Look at that. Reverse psychology is maybe what that is. I don't know. All right. Into the letter A. I mean, China. <laughs> or, or, or Russia. Okay. I'll take a rare. All right. And then fewer than 10 Olympic medals, capital city. This is not North Korea, we learned. Let's think of another country that doesn't really get out much during the Olympics. As far as I, as far as I know. But they have a lot of people in their capital city. Let's go with like the Dominican... No, not the Dominican Republic. Um, potentially an African country? Because I'm not sure... They don't always compete in the Olympics, unfortunately. Let's go with the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Okay. Bangladesh. I didn't know. Okay, and then... Yeah, China was really high on this one. And the United States was high on this one. That's why it was so good for me. Okay, we did pretty well. Angola, Angola, Angola. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay. Good job, good job. Let's look at all these. Venezuela. Yep. Yep, that's what I was thinking. And then... What a... Wait. Most popular was Guyana. Colombia was... Oh, I should have said Colombia then. <laughs> if I had known. Okay. Alright, let's do one more. And then we'll call it there. We could do a new one. One we haven't done before. Um, Alright, what about Silicrostic? I really do like Silicrostic. I I used to play this a lot on my phone. Alright, so you're basically just using these uh, syllables to make uh, words to solve these clues. Uh, it's usually not too difficult. Uh, I don't think I've ever played it on the computer. But let's let's see how this goes. So like fine wines. <laughs> they they age well. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> I will skip that one. Okay, Wall Street business. Uh, finance, maybe? Finance. Nice. Got one. Alright, consume. Eat. Or... Uh, digest. Ingest, maybe. Yes. Man with a star. I don't... I don't know. High school math. Maybe that's algebra. 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 There we go. Course before dessert. That's, um, the main course? <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Um, we'll skip that one. Dispute strongly. Oppose? Oppose? This just posts. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm, esteem. My brain is so tired. <laughs> Why did I do this? All right. Uh, esteem. All right. Throw away with of. Dispose of. There is that one. Okay. All right. Like fine wines. Still don't know that one. I don't know much about wine. All right. Man with a star. That's the sheriff. I saw that earlier. Course before dessert, um, tend, tend, tree, <laughs> tree con. All right, there's a respect. That's esteem. Stop taking me back there. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, how about like elegant? Is that fine wine? A fine wine is elegant? I guess so. And then course before dessert. What am I? I don't understand. Con, in con, tree con. Content. Oh, that's content. Okay. Entree. There's no uh, apostrophe. <laughs> okay. Entree. Nice. All right. So that's our last one. I will see you tomorrow for some more daily games. And I hope, uh, hope you have a good day. Bye.